Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another plant video. We are doing some touring today. I figured it's the end of the year. It's time to show you guys what my collection is looking like. It's definitely looking a ton different than it has in the past. And I figured it was just time. It was time for you guys to see. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm pretty much just gonna be showing you guys like this sort of section and mostly my Hoyas. I'm so sorry for not posting the past couple of weeks, but you know, things got really busy there for a second. So I'm sorry and I hope this video makes up for it, but let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so this is a bit of an overview of my collection. The majority of my Hoyas are in this little greenhouse right here. And I also have some on this shelf. I got this new wicker shelf. I'm so happy about it. My sister-in-law actually found it like at a garage sale for super cheap and she got it for me and I just I cannot be happier with it it's so cute I kind of wish that it was like uh, the actual like wicker color but it's white and I, I honestly don't mind it I kind of gotten used to it and I think it looks really pretty and then I have a shelf right here that has some more Hoya uh, so yeah let's just go ahead and get into it let's start with this wicker shelf uh, I have some Hoya here I have this one this is my Hoya Australis Albo Marginata I got this from BB Plants like over a year ago I think and it was like it was a pain in my butt just because of how slowly it grew it's like ridiculously slow you guys like ridiculously slow I think it had a couple of leaves coming out and I took a cutting from it just because I wanted like a different plant like a backup plant and those died and then it just took forever <laughs> to grow some new leaves for me but uh, it was outside and it grew a little bit faster I moved it back inside just because it got kind of cold out there so I decided to move it back in here and it's probably going to stay like not doing anything for a while again but next to it is my Hoya Botanica. It is like trailing off the shelf. It's so cute. I love it. This one is my just regular green one. I have another one that's sun stressed in my grow tent that I'll show you guys in a second but oh my gosh. I love this plant because of how versatile it is. Versatile it is. Um, it's just, it's so pretty. I really, really, really like it. And then back there is a reverting syngonium and a pentaflebia that is being rooted in some water. And then below that shelf is my Hoya Croniana Super Silver. Um, this plant actually... I think it had, it, it's not really like a technical name change, but it is a name that they did not enjoy. So I, I we've kind of decided as a whole to no longer call it the other name. So now I'm just going to call it Super Silver. It is so pretty. I actually have two of these. Uh, I just, I feel like it just grows so fast and it's so nice. The next to it is my Hoya Crimson Queen. It has the margin variegation that's going on so it's definitely a queen it is so cute uh i have it in pond just because it was like starting to dry out and like get some wrinkly leaves like the roots were just not looking too good so i moved it in a pond and it seemed to really enjoy it and then back there is my carnosa just regular old carnosa uh she's really cute like she's really cute um i feel like it just grows so quickly like everybody needs a carnosa She's a little bit splashy. It's really nice. I really, really, really like her. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my second shelf Hoya. Uh, if you were curious, this is a Philodendron Rio. And back there is a Philodendron, sorry, a Monstera Standaliana. And now moving on, we've got this third shelf here. Super beautiful Finlay Sonia staring you right in the face. I love this Finlay. It is so 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 pretty just because of this like light leaf color. I thought that it was probably because it was being grown in like high light but so far I have not gotten another leaf that is like dark so I think that that's just kind of how it is. Some people say that it's a Jennifer uh, but I do have another Jennifer like in that greenhouse and it's just like not the same to me but you know how it is with Hoya names they get really confusing in the back there I also have a, another Finlay Sonia and you guys have seen this one I featured it in my Vampire Diaries video but it's kind of just dark and jaggedy really pretty uh next to the other Finlay Sonia is this Obscura right here it is so pretty. <laughs> I got this from my friend, The Plant Vibe, on Instagram. Uh, it actually has a new leaf that's coming out right here. It is so pretty. I really like the veins. It's so nice. I actually prefer them not to be sun-stressed just because, like, look at how gorgeous this green is. Is that not the most gorgeous green? 
That's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> and then back there is a Hoya Hanhie. Um, and it is also coming out with a new leaf. Like right there in the middle. I don't think you guys can really see. But it has some damaged leaves. So I'm really happy to be seeing a new one coming out. And then over here on this side, we have my Hoya Sipidengensis. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is that red color? I love, love how this looks. And it's finally started giving me some new leaves. Uh, the new leaves are coming out green because I'm not sun stressing it as much as I was sun stressed whenever I first got it. But either way, I'm just, I'm really happy with this plant. I think it's super cute. And then back here is probably my favorite plant at the moment. Uh, I'm really sad because I actually... I actually decided to gift it to <laughs> my uh, sister-in-law uh, so that she can gift it to her mom. And I'm a little bummed about it because is that not like the prettiest Rotunda Flora that you've ever seen? That is the beautiful, that is such a beautiful Rotunda Flora. And it's like shooting out a stem right here. It has some baby leaves. It is just gorgeous. Look at those, look at those fuzzy. Look at those fuzzies. So, so, so cute. I just, I love that plant so much. I love Rotunda Flora. It's probably one of my favorite Hoyas. And yeah, that is the third shelf. And then here comes the fourth shelf. Uh, these kind of have a little bit more basic Hoyas. Uh, this is my Hoya pubicalix. Uh, it actually has some like pinky sun stress going on from my like regular LED like fluorescent lights. And it has some uh, new new leaves coming out. It's really pretty. I, I really like this splashy, splashy pubicalix. Um, I actually think these are the cuttings that I took for the propagation video that I made for Hoyas. This is pretty much what came out of it. <laughs> and then next to it is my Hoya Matilde. Is that not the prettiest Matilde? Oh my god. Let me, let me just show you up close. It is so pretty. <laughs> I really, really like this guy just because it's like kind of splashy and like the dark leaves just make it look so nice. Uh, I have some like water spots on it, but either way, I just think it's so pretty. And this is Growing in Pond. If you guys missed that video, go and check it out. I'll link it up in the cards. And then next to it is my Hoya Aldrichii. Is this not like the shiniest, leatheriest looking, cool looking Hoya ever? I just, it's so pretty. And then back there, I actually have a Brevilata. It just has two leaves though. Uh not super fun i wish it had more leaves but you know it's part of the collection it, it doesn't seem to be doing much though so i still need to kind of figure out the care for that guy and then back there is my hoya quinquinervia um it has done nothing <laughs> it shot up that stem but it's done nothing otherwise and then i have my philodendra pedatum back there and this was sold to me as a lacunosa poonsack it was actually like thrown in as an extra plant. Um, these two I think are actually new leaves. But back there are some like darker leaves. It doesn't really look like poonsacks that I've seen in the in the past. But you know, Hoyas all kind of look different. But yeah, that is the fourth shelf. And then going towards the bottom here. Yeah, I have a lot of Hoyas that are back <laughs> that are actually down here. Uh, first things first is my Hoya Neocaledonica. Super, super pretty. This guy was actually struggling quite a bit because I had overwatered it and it just was not enjoying being overwatered and also in the grow tent. It was just like getting kind of sun stressed, kind of yellow looking, but it seems to have kind of bounced back. And I mean, these leaves are just gorgeous. Super, super pretty. Um, one of my favorites, I actually took some cuttings from when it was stressed out uh, and that is actually also coming out with some new growth. And then next to that is my Hoya Vitalinoides. Look at this beautiful, beautiful monster. Like, this has to be one of my favorite Hoyas. Uh, it actually has some new growth that's coming out right here. Super, super, super beautiful. I, like, I adore this plant. Like, adore it to no end. Uh, and then here I have another Hanhie. And that one actually has a whole new leaf. Uh, ignore the dead leaf in the background. <laughs> But yeah, behind that is my Hoya Australis Lisa and my Hoya Hatsum Pie. But yeah, that is actually everything that is on this shelf. It's so beautiful. I really, really like this shelf. And my plants actually seem to be doing like really, really, really well despite not being in like super humid environments. I haven't been misting. I haven't really been doing anything to keep up the humidity with them. And 
they're not by any means like growing at an extensive rate or anything. It's just that they're not dying and they're doing pretty well. So <laughs> yeah, I really like this shelf. I, I really like all the plants on it. And then moving on to the greenhouse. All right, so starting at the top here, we're gonna start with my long linearis. Like it is super long. I think it's already going into the third shelf on this little greenhouse. It is so pretty and fuzzy and I just adore it. Next to it is my Hoya Mirabilis. This is actually just a cutting that I took when I noticed that my Mirabilis was like going downhill. It is so pretty though. Is that not the prettiest, like splashiest, velvetiest looking plant on the planet? I just adore, 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 adore it. Next to it is my Hoya Ovalifolia. I got this as a cutting. I actually unboxed it on my channel if you guys want to check that out. Um, it is so cute. It's not my favorite Hoya just because it's like kind of basic looking, but it is really cute. I, I like how tiny the, the leaves are and there's some new growth coming out, so it's it's nice. <laughs> um, back there is actually my Elliptica. Um, my elliptic is not doing so hot, if I'm being honest. It's not doing so hot. I don't know what's wrong with it. If you guys have any tips, let me know. And then next to that is my Hoya Wibergiae. Uh, this is actually known as a Verticillata now. It is really, really pretty and splashy and fun. It grows really quickly and nice for me. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's living in Lekka. It's actually one of my only Hoyas that I have in these net pots. I'm not a fan of those net pots. <laughs> the roots come out of it so quickly and it's just, it's not a fun time. Next to that is my Hoya Blashernasii. So this guy actually has a ton of new like vines and shoots that are coming out. It, it's really pretty. It's just uh, I wish that it would actually give me some new leaves. I just, I need some leaves. I also don't know what's going on with that funky leaf right there. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Next to that is my Hoya Erythrina. I got this from the wonderful and beautiful Yen from, uh, these plants on Instagram. She was super nice and gifted it to me. I also have an unboxing for this and I'm just so happy with it. The new leaves are coming out and they're coming out this beautiful green color. I just... I, I want it to come out with more leaves for me. <laughs> but yeah, that is this guy. And then next to that guy is my Hoya Polynura. And in front of my Hoya Polynura, we have my Hoya Michelle. It is actually giving me some new growth right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but oh my god, am I excited about it. I'm so, so, so excited about it. It is just like a little growth point for right now, but I, I cannot... Cannot wait until it gives me some new leaves. And next to her is actually my Hoya Hushkiliana variegata that I got from Hoya How. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> uh, it has so much variegation on this like top leaf right here. It is so pretty and tiny and cute. I can't get over these dainty little leaves. I have another Hoya Linearis and another Hoya Mirabilis right here. But behind them, I have my Hoya Sistianta. Sistianta. I can't really say the name. I really like it. It grows like crazy. Like it has gone nuts in there. Like absolutely nuts. And I also have my Melanochrysum in the back and my Varicosum in front of that. Uh, but yeah, those are all of the Hoyas that were on my top shelf and then on my middle shelf or second shelf right here We get into some of the good stuff. These are actually probably where my favorite Hoyas lie uh, They're kind of like at face level for me whenever I sit down and I just I really love these plants but uh, right here is my Hoya Camphorifolia. It is growing up onto the little bar there. Next to that is my Hoya Nicholsonier. Nicholson, I don't really know how to say it. Nichols, Nicholsonier. I'm going to say it like that. Uh, she's really pretty. She has some water, water spots, but she has started giving me some new leaves. As you guys can see, that's a new leaf. And uh, I think there's like a new leaf that's somewhere up here, but it has actually like vined onto my Linearis. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, that is that guy and next to her is my beautiful insane lithophytica uh do you guys see how beautiful and like leathery and like velvety looking these leaves are super super cool and unique hoya it does have a yellow leaf down there but this guy is in Lekka and it seems to be really enjoying itself and next to her 
is my Hoya Fuluwa or Fuluensis. Uh, I actually had a couple of leaves coming out in, like above here and I actually took a cutting of it just because it looked kind of awkward and I'm hoping that it'll start pushing out some new growth for me soon but for now this is what she looks like and behind her is my Chinghunjensis. Next to my Fuwa, Fuwa Wuwa, however you say it, <laughs> is my Sigillatus. Look at, look at, is that not insane? Oh my god, that is insane. Literally one of the prettiest Hoyas that I have now just because, one, it was rehabbed. It was like pretty much dying when I first got it. Like it was so sad. It was yellowing leaves. I had to basically reroot it. It was just crazy. And I just am so proud of this plant now because look at this. Look at it like it's growing up like it's growing up like those leaves are also sigillatus and it's just it's so nice i just love that plant a lot a lot a lot and next to her is one of my newer plants uh i don't think i really featured her on my channel and it's my hoya flavida flavida it has beautiful beautiful flowers which is why i really wanted it because the flowers are just I don't know. They they scream like Alessia by me. So <laughs> I bought it. Uh, and it actually has some new leaves going on on the top here. Super cute. Behind her is my Hoya Rangsan, which honestly, it's a super slow grower and it reminds me a lot of the Pupacalyx. I really, really love it because it was cut, sort of one of like the most, the more rare plants that I had gotten like way back when it was actually kind of rare <laughs> uh and now I don't I don't know I wish that it would grow faster I guess next to her is my Hoya Kagayanensis beautiful velvety velvety Hoya uh I think I actually like put you guys on this guy too I hear that a lot of people are looking for her now uh just because of how pretty and velvety and satiny she is but yeah, behind her are my Hoya, not Hoya, sorry, Discidia variegata rusifolia, and then my Discidia like watermelon ovata. Uh, super, super, super beautiful, beautiful plants. I love them. Uh, and my Hoya Sarawak is just chilling right here. I hate, I hate how her new leaf came out. It's like kind of flimsy. Uh, I think it was just because I wasn't watering her as much as I probably should have when the leaf was coming out. But it's just, it's such a flimsy leaf. Like, it doesn't, it's not succulent and thick like the other leaves are. And, I don't know. It's just, I, it's, I wish that it was a little bit more consistent. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. I still really, really love the plant. Uh, behind her is my Hoya Thompsonii, super beautiful fuzzy baby. It's also, I think it's growing season currently, and it's giving me some new leaves right here. As you guys can see, it's giving me some new leaves. Uh, back there is my Hoya Biakensis, uh, and then next to her is another Lithophytica cutting. And last but not least on this shelf is my Hoya Pentaflebia. This one is growing in Lekka. Uh, it's been giving me some new leaves, but it's not, it's, it's again, like the Sarawak, I don't know, maybe it's just the area that I have them in, but it, it's just not, not super consistent with its leaves. But yeah, that's this guy and that's this shelf. I love that shelf. <laughs> and then moving on to my third shelf, which is where I have a lot of my propagations. Uh, and I guess, I mean, I still really love all of these plants, but these are where like, sort of my multiples are. This one right here, however, is not a multiple. It is my Hoya Rebecca. Ah, uh, I really think it's so pretty. I just, I don't know. I feel like other people's Rebeccas look different than my Rebecca, and I think it might just be because mine's not sun-stressed, but I don't think I would sun-stress it because I think it's really pretty, just like in the green form. And next to her is another one of these Croniana Super Silvers. I just, I like to take cuttings and then I end up with multiple of my plants. Uh, and then below that is my Hoya Polynera. And next to that is a Rotunaflora cutting. And above that is my Matilde. My beautiful, beautiful Matilde. I feel like alguien me dio ojo with this guy. <laughs> because some of the leaves are like kind of turning this like lime green color. Uh, I actually had like an entire vine sort of yellow off and it stopped flowering for me, so I, I don't really know what's going on. I hope that she can, like, uh, stop, I guess, declining. I haven't seen her do anything wonky since the last time that something weird happened, and I do notice that there's, like, a ton more vining stuff going on, so uh, hopefully, 
Hopefully it's not as bad as I think. And then next to her is my beautiful giant Hoya Bella Variegata. I took some cuttings of the mom plant and I made her. Uh, she's insane. She's grown so quickly. Uh, she has some buds, but I don't care enough to keep an eye on them, so they usually just fall off. <laughs> and then next to that is another Hoya Finlay Sonii. This Finlay Sonii is another one of those ones that, like, the original leaves look completely different than the actual new leaves that are coming out. So, again, just, I would avoid getting a bunch of different kinds of Finlay Sonii in general just because they are so similar and they definitely depend on like the growing condition but I mean who am I to tell you what to do considering I have like a bajillion of them <laughs> they're really nice to collect I guess and then back here I have my Hoya Carii Picta super super beautiful plant uh I actually have the big the bigger like mom plant outside but I did take a cutting because I thought this was too pretty to not take a cutting and the aerial roots were like insane back there I actually have my Hoya Scorte Tecinii Probably one of my favorite plants right now, just because it's like brand new and it's just, I don't know, it, it's so pretty. It doesn't look like it's all that, but the texture of it, like the velvetiness of it just looks so cool. Next to her is my Hoya Verticillata, aka Pagita plant or Palita plant. And behind her is my Hoya Kentiana, like mini Kentiana, that I got from Hoya Anonymous on Instagram. <laughs> it's doing really well. Uh, I don't really pay too much attention to it, if I'm being honest, just because it's so far away. But it, it hasn't been declining or giving me new leaves either. And next to the Polita plant is my other Hoya Pensiflebi. I have so many of those. I also have another Lithophytica. And I have my... Hoya Cutis Porcelana. My Hoya Cutis Porcelana is going insane. You know, I got this with just two leaves and now it has seven. Seven leaves! Like, that's insane. Seven leaves! <sighs> it's so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. Next to her is my Hoya Memoria. And it is doing really well. It's, like, got some splash going on, which I really enjoy. And next to her is my Hoya Fitchii. Behind my Hoya Fitchii is my Hoya Solmangiana. Look at how gorgeous those veins are. Those veins are gorgeous. <laughs> They're so, so, so nice. And it's giving me a new shoot, so I cannot wait for new leaves. I cannot wait for new leaves. And then behind her and the last plant on this shelf is my Hoya CD Dossi. Uh, she gave me a new leaf, but if I'm being honest, I, I, don't, I don't like the new leaf. It, it looks a little bulbous and weird. <laughs> it doesn't really look like the rest of its leaves that I got with it. But that is this shelf. And now for the bottom shelf, I got this Hoya Jennifer here from Hoya Anonymous also. Uh, she is super, super sweet. She gave me like a lot of plants. Uh, this Hoya Jennifer is huge. Like it is huge, huge. I love the veins. It's just insanity. Uh, I also really like that it's coming out with new growth. Super, super, super cute. I love, love this plant. And below it are like a bunch of Lacunosa cuttings that I just kind of have ignored for months. And I have my Hoya Callistophylla right here. Uh, this is a Hoya Callistophylla. I got it like as a short leaf. And it started off like this and then it started giving leaves like this super gorgeous i think i prefer these kinds of leaves they're like really veiny and pretty and just thick and beautiful i really 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 enjoy this one and i have another polyneura next to her and i have a hoya potcherwallie i don't really know how to say this one but this guy i got it from grow babies uh i think it has multiple names i think i've heard it also called a incensus in incensius Something like that. I don't really quite remember, but it is so beautiful and I just, I really, really, really like it. And then behind her is my Hoya Illigayorum. Not Nothing super special about that guy. I think the flowers are probably what's insane about it. Uh, I have a Vitalinoides cutting right in front of here and I have a Caudata cutting right in front of here also. And then next to her is my big sun-stressed caudata. It's actually not doing so well. Uh, I'm kind of have her out here so I can get a little bit closer of an eye on her. Its leaves are getting like kind of like flimsy and sad. 
I'm really, really, really bummed about this one because, like, look at how gorgeous. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I got the evil eye on this one, too. But it's, it's just so pretty. I really hope that I can save it. And then next to her is my Hoya Unknown. Yeah, no, it's unknown. I really don't know what it is. I missed showing you guys my boutier or boutier cutting. Boutier? Boutier? I don't know how to say that. Uh, but I do have that guy right here. I also have my Melly Flua in the back there. So those are some that I missed. But I just, oh my goodness. It's such a pretty greenhouse. I just really like sitting here and staring at my plants whenever I have the time. It's just gorgeous. I, I really love all of my plants. They all seem to be doing really well in it. Uh, but yeah, that's my greenhouse and everything in front of it. And let's get to this little shelf right here. So at the top of the shelf here, I have another Crimson Queen. Next to her, I have my Caria Variegata. And behind her, I have my Hoya Hindu Rope. Um, I also have a Imperialis cutting right here that is not doing so hot. Uh, I air layered it and it it's because like outside it started dying. I don't really know what happened, but I have one in cocoa husk and one in water and the one in water is actually doing much better. I also have my Hoya Lacunosa snow caps chilling right here. It was actually doing really badly and I kind of rehabbed it and now it's doing just fine. And then down here we have my Hoya Chinghangensis cutting that I have right here is actually not doing anything and I'm kind of bummed about it just because the other one grows so quickly but next to it I have my Incrasada that has a new baby leaf is this baby leaf not just adorable I cannot wait to see that baby leaf because these leaves are kind of ugly I'm not gonna lie <laughs> and then next to that is my Hoya Obovada next to her is another Ald Richiei I also have a Carmelite in the back there and then on this windowsill I have two Hoyas this is my Parviflora it is gorgeous, probably one of my favorite plants also. And then next to that is my Finlaysonii. It's like a light leaf that I got, um, I got as a gift and I just, I really enjoy it. I think this is actually a brand new leaf. And then on the bottom shelf here, I have another Crimson Queen. I have a Hoya Weyetii Variegata and a Hoya Chelsea. Um, and that's pretty much it for this shelf right here. And everything around it. I think now all we need is the grow tent and then we're going to be done with my Hoya collection. Isn't that insane? I feel like I've been talking for hours. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the grow tent. Alrighty, so I did not bother cleaning this grow tent at all because I wanted you guys to see the like harsh reality of it. I don't take too much care of the plants in here just because they seem to be doing well like on their own without my help. Um, there's so much light in here that this Hoya Botanica, the one that you guys saw in the beginning of the video, is actually like ridiculously sun stressed. Is that not insane? That's insane. It is so gorgeous. Like just, oh my god, that's breathtaking. I love this guy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Next to her is a sun stressed Bella Variegata. And behind her is actually a Pachiclata that I got from Stacia from Oops I Sold My Planets. I really appreciated her sending it to me. Just She was just so sweet and so kind. I was so sad that I couldn't film an unboxing for it just because my audio was trash. So I'm happy that I get to show you guys it now. It is so gorgeous. It's coming out with a new leaf already and it seems to be enjoying it in this grow tent. Um, back here I have a Hoya Vitalinoides that is super light green because it's super sun stressed. And then I have my massive Ritzinda Flora. Like it is just huge. It's going absolutely nuts. Um, below it is my Hoya Myrmacopa. It's got some weird fungal bacterial type thing going on. I don't know what's happening. Um, I, I actually think it might just be like too much light and I think I need to put it somewhere else but I just don't have room for it anywhere else so it's kind of just living in here and I'm hoping that I can get used to it and back there is my Hoya Comingiana it is also going absolutely insane and I have my Hoya Velosa right here it's again one of my favorite Hoyas for sure it's giving me some new growth this is actually like coming into here and it just looks so, 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 so nice. Um, I can't wait for these to like fully develop and for those to fully develop because I think I want to take a cutting like right here because those aerial roots look really nice. 
And then next to her, I have another Hoya Pinta Flebia. I have like a bajillion of these. Um, I definitely need to sell some and get rid of some, but it's just, it's so hard to let go. Like, look at how insane these leaves are. And then next to her is my Hoya Salmonea. Uh, it is very, very, very similar to a Hoya Fichii, and it actually has a peduncle over here on the side. You guys see that? That right there is a peduncle. Uh, it's a little bright in here, so I don't think you can see super well, but it is just so so nice And it's so sun stressed and so beautiful. I really like it. And then next to her is my Hoya Dekiae. Dekiae, however you say it, it does really really well in here It is really difficult and kind of scares me every time I water But it seems to be doing well <laughs> And then next to her is another Calistophylla and next to her is a annoying Induensis that's actually like in this little glass here uh but yeah that's actually it for everything in my grow tent so yeah that was my hoya collection my plant collection update my winter collection i am so happy with all of my plants right now i love them all to bits there was a time there where uh, some of them kind of went to poop just because i was so busy and i was so stressed out there were some that i just like completely forgot about and uh, thankfully a lot of the plants that i have now are very uh, resilient and fun and I just I really love all my plants right now so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and hit the like button down below and if you like me or you like plant videos go ahead and subscribe if you want to but that's gonna be it for today's video and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye